So back to the invisible werewolf. Uh, as you can see, we got some paint put on the body. Finally, <clears throat> we went with um, went with <clears throat> Tamiya Nato Brown for the top of his shirt. His pants are um, the black green from Tamiya. Um, <clears throat> then I highlighted dry brushed the high spots of the folds and then tried to get all the um, <clears throat> or as much as I could of the texture of his shirt with khaki give it a little depth and, and color uh, <clears throat> I need to uh, figure about his pants too I gotta get a lighter color on his pants I just haven't gotten there yet uh, first coat of color went on his feet uh, for that, I'm using the Craft Acrylics uh, Traditional Burnt Umber, is what I'm using for that. <clears throat> um, so that's where he is, he needs to dry up a little bit. I haven't figured out what color I want to make his shirt. His shirt has to be something, I don't know, in that range. I need to get a little style sense in me and figure that out. But... Um, that's where that's going. It's probably hard to see in the light of the camera and everything the actual difference in the shirt with the textures, but it looks it looks okay. <clears throat> Perfect, no, but okay. And I got like I said, do the pants next. Uh, so that's him. Uh, we also got some color on his hands. I got to do some some more on that too. Second coats. <clears throat> then moved over to his head <clears throat> first colors on his head were done um, even with just these first pass I'm pretty happy with the results um, I have plans to make it even better but for right now <clears throat> the skin color for him I used I used model masters um, skin tone shadow tint um, <coughs> it looks a little light now, but in the end, it's um, I plan on doing a wash and I'll darken it up a little bit more. <coughs> of course, you know, I still have to do his eyes, his nose, his eyebrows, and all that happy stuff. But it's just the base. Get some color on it. And the same color for his face went on his ears. There and there. <coughs> Even as you could see me spinning this you could see some light spots down here <clears throat> where um, the paint just didn't get in so this will be getting another color I mean another coat um, another base coat basically which again it's the burnt umber acrylic uh, give that make sure I got everything covered and then from there we'll start highlighting and making the other colors that get involved <clears throat> I want to use a lighter brown and I believe there are pictures that show at one point in the movie or in the show where coming kind of like wisping off this way up and over the side are, sh are shades of gray so eventually I'd like to work in the lighter tones and then those wisps of gray so <clears throat> that's where we are with him right now um, I haven't gotten any farther with the base, really. Uh, I need to do some dry brushing. I just haven't haven't gotten to it yet. But anyway, that's where we are at the moment. Um, I think he's coming along pretty well. I'm not going to make the Halloween deadline, but you know what? It's my project. It's not for anything else. So if I don't make my own deadline, who the hell cares? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Um, but he will be done. He will be done soon, hopefully. But he's coming along. So. Be right back all right so we got more color and paint and everything on our werewolf I mean we're almost done remember we did the, the two tones on the shirt um, or yeah the t-shirt I added some color to that finally I chose this craft dark scarlet okay for the t-shirt 
Uh, I'm probably going to do another coat on it. It's got two already, but just to make it a little deeper. Um, the pants, like I said, were dark uh, black green, right, from Tamiya. Uh, to do the highlights on it, you can see here I got the green highlights on it. What I use for that is I use the Kraft Acrylic and I use this color called Fresh Cut Grass. Um, again, just all dry brushing techniques. Uh, a little bit of paint on it, dab it on the on the towel as you can see here. Uh, give it a couple strokes and then go to town all over the place on the high spots and everything. And that's how we got that. Um, you can see I attached the hands Okay, we did the underside of the hands. Okay, with the same skin tone. And then what I did, uh, black nail manicure. Let's see if we can. And not really. There we go. So you've got black uh, nail, nail polish on there. Uh, the underside, like I said, was done in the same skin color as his face and then what I did is using um, pastel chalks I dusted his hand to tone it down and, and put color into the um, into the uh, into the palm so it's not so stark not that you see it when he's standing upright but <clears throat> the feet were also done come on you can see I did the, the feet they were done um, again first it was done with the um, burnt umber was the color I used for this for the fur and then I went over I took the burnt umber again and mixed a little bit of white a tad bit and lightened it up and then I dry brushed the high spots on a fur um, to give it a little bit of it not two-tone but you know just give it some depth um, his toes hold on. his toes as you can see the hair stops just for the toes skin color and then he's got black manicure on his toes too and then again so it's not so stark I took the pastel powders uh, rubbed it into the um, into the skin uh, rubbed it, blew it off, and it gave me a nice um, blend uh, for the for the toes. Then we're moving on to his head. Really kind of happy with the head here. We did two coats of the burnt umber for the hair. Okay, I darkened his ears. Okay, uh, if you look in the in the the video of any of the shows you'll see his ears were dark along with his nose his nose was also uh, darkened in so I did that to his nose um, again after two coats of the dark umber on the hair hold on. I then made a lighter color with the burn umber uh, lightened it up just a little bit uh, dry brush that all over except for like except for like the really sorry except for like the really close spots along his face I left those dark and I, I would start the bright the lighter colors back a little bit okay and faded it back trying to replicate what I saw on the show let that dry I uh, gave him some gray highlights okay I'd seen that somewhere I forget where but I just thought it added some nice depth and character to the figure, so that's why I did that. Um, I used, um, what is it? Um, oh, the color is the, no, that's white. But I used the um, buttercream, that's what it is. Buttercream for his eyes and his teeth. Um, I did a little bit of highlighting underneath to darken underneath his eye here this side when I was doing it, it's funny uh, I guess I was the brush I had was a, a stippled brush 
and I guess I rubbed too hard and I went down to the resin. So I had to paint this over and wait for it to dry. And then overall, his face will get a, a probably a pastel wash, Just bring out those those wrinkles and everything like that, make it look uh, look better. And also, what I'm going to do for his eyes, I'm going to try. I, I learned it. Well, not learned this, but I noticed this when I was doing my Planet of the Apes figures. If you watch Planet of the Apes, um, the eyes, especially on the the gorillas, they always had bloodshot eyes, and I assume it's from the makeups and the prosthetics and and the the uh, the uh, lenses that they put in their eyes. But we also have some of that redness in our eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Tamiya Clear Red. I'm going to water it down a little bit more. And hoping, hopefully, without ruining the figure and have to repaint the face again, I'd really be upset. I'm going to take just a drop and let it fall into the recess, recesses, the corners of his eyes. And again, so the, the eye, the iris and the rest of the eye should be fine. But you just see a little hint of red in the corners give them that little bit of again extra detail so <laughs> I think the head's looking pretty good I'm very happy it's probably the best face and head that I've done so far to date so uh, I'm kind of happy with that so oh the other thing is when I originally did the hair I glossed it over with future and his face so I'd have a base you know it all protected and then I can go and do my weathering and stuff. And then, you know, if I made a mistake, I can wipe it off. Um, I've given this two shots of dull coat to try to dull it back down now. And I can't get it to dull down. It's staying very shiny. I've got to figure something out for that because it's. I think it's just way too over the top right now. But anyway, um, that's where we're at. We're really, really close. Uh, next step here, really, it's putting on the head on the body. Um, I need to then start working on the base. Um, the base isn't, hasn't progressed any farther than the last, uh, what, two videos ago. So that will be the next step. And what I'm going to need to do to protect him, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to drill a hole in his foot here. And I'm going to put uh, a post of some kind, styrene, here and make a, a, you know, a similar hole in the base. So in the end, he'll be held down by that one foot. And this way, he doesn't get knocked over or anything like that. Oh, another thing I did. I took the pastels when I had them out. I put some dirt around the kneecaps uh, to dirty that up. And on the bottom, the cuffs of his pants... I use some brown pastels there to make it look like it's dirty. He's been running through the woods and stuff like that. Try to give the pants a really weathered look. So, that's it for right now. So, next, it's on to the base. Be right back. <laughs> 